Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Abel and I'm a collector of anthuriums and philodendron plants. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the updates of my anthuriums that I've been keeping in the basement. You guys, these anthuriums are not um, doing well last year, mainly because of the stress and the winter, but I'm very happy one of the plants that I am really hoping that it will grow is giving me hype at the moment and uh, I just want to share it with you guys. So let me just uh, start with the small plants that it's still recovering and I just, you know, I just can't do anything at the moment but hopefully it will give me good results soon and it will give me a bunch of leaves and huge leaves because we are now in summer time well yesterday was really awful here we had a really severe storm which unfortunate so anyway let me start with my anthurium ace of a spade and you guys this one i got it from indonesia and this was my first uh, import and I've had the mother leaf or the big leaf, I place it on the frame. And then since I don't have any knowledge on how to look after anthuriums or even the philodendron before, I don't know how to propagate them well and I don't know what humidity level they really wanted in. This plant got thrifts. And you guys I've struggled a lot but as you guys can tell the pictures in here I'll show you along the picture here is the ace of a spade and now when we moved here I place it in different substrates I place it in cocoa core in perlite and then it's a bunch of different experiment uh, media however this one I'm keeping it in moss I have it in vermiculite and lavra. I don't have any uh, pumice in here, which I'm supposed to. However, I have the uh, vermiculite, which is really retains good water moisture in the plant. So I don't mind putting any pumice anymore. So this is my ace of a spade. This one here, I accidentally snapped it while growing the tip. And that's how it look but this is pretty actually it's this is pretty dark I don't know why it's not showing in the camera well and this is the first the darkest leaf actually this is the one this is the darkest leaf you can see that and I have one that's on the way hopefully that will give me good huge leaf I have good establish of fruit in here pretty healthy like I said, I'm placing this one in my vermiculite. That's the vermiculite here in the middle, the vermiculite, and then the lavra. And then on top, I decided to put some sphagnum moss on. And uh, I'm not really watering it often, mainly because the vermiculite and the moss, they're really good in retaining water or moisture. So we have, this is... <laughs> my anthurium ace of his fate for quite a long time since i started collecting way back 2018 and it's still growing in my care however it's it's slow because of the stress i gave it to this plant but the next one is the same as well this plant here i got it early 2019 from aqua genera and this is my anthurium Forget yai. I've had this one on Lekka. I've had this one in Coco Core itself. I've had this one in Perlite when we moved here in the transparent box. It's really working well. But all of a sudden, when I place them here, all of my plants in here, like I said, because of the winter time, the temperature, humidity, they're still keeping up on how to adapt here in this environment. I've had some issues 
thank god i don't have any issues when it comes to past well not kind of wood though so this one it, it's the same i'm keeping it in my vermiculite my love rock in moss i don't really recommend to place your empyrems in love rock because you know although it they will grow but they don't have love rock don't have any nutrients on it vermiculite will help to give you multiple roots and healthy leaves because you know it retains when you place some fertilizer on it it retains in that substrate which it really good and also i believe this is kind of some it has some sort of minerals if i'm not mistaken which helps the plant as well so if you guys are seeing that is the healthy root and vermiculite the lava rock in the middle and then sphagnum moss on top because why not right i just want to give it good moisture so i don't have to water off especially it really gets hot in here now and i don't want to burn them <laughs> which is pretty good because of the humidity they will thrive however you know i'm using kind of a hydroponics pretty much all of my plants i i place them just the allocation ones that i i'm still keeping in coco core bark and some different aroid mixed as well so yeah this is my new leaf that is the forgetii because this leaf is still growing the leaf split in the middle but that's the leaf it's so round it's so beautiful you guys if it gets matured this is how the look it's pretty dark green i got this one from aqua Genero, and that was way 2019 before pandemic happens so yeah guys that is a beautiful forget yeah or forget tea so moving on i have one here that i got from indonesia as well this one is a struggle because i keep on placing it in different substrates most of my theorems actually i place it in different substrates which i don't know what's happening to me i am not uh, contented with one substrate but i am keeping it this way now i love my love rock pumice and i also put a little bit of zeolite and perlite on it which they're really perfect but we'll be talking about that in the next coming videos this one is, I believe, my Drusillary. You guys can tell it's still whack. <laughs> it's not uh, healthy because of the stress. But yeah, that is my Drusillary, Ethereum Drusillary. I got it from Indonesia for almost two years now, and it's still growing. Most of the plants that I got from Indonesia, the seller sold me in a pretty cheap prices. But if you go, you know, see these type of anthuriums now, they're really expensive, you guys. Okay, the next one is my hybrid one. This is the hybrid of, I believe, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Because I didn't put the name when I got it. And I keep forgetting what they are now. So this is my anthurium waricanum x uh, if i'm not mistaken that's magnificum because you can tell it shapes like it looks like a magnificum but the shape is elongated which you know it they cross it with the uh, warakianum and i'm keeping it the same my love rock and pomace and i have a new baby that it's i don't know if you guys can see that Maybe I have to move a little bit for maybe I move a little bit far. So that's a new one is right there in the middle. And the root is crazy here now. Ah you see that root over there? Yeah, that's it. And that's the leaf. It's so beautiful. That is a hybrid of Warakianum and Magnificum. 
So I'm hoping that I'll be getting huge leaves for this one because it's been a long time. Okay, moving on is my Imperium Radicans X Luxuriance, I think. So this one, guys, what I noticed while growing these two, my I still have my Luxurian and this one here. If you guys look at first, it looks like the um, Luxurian, but it's not. However, I'm looking at my Luxurian. The stem, they're different. Like, the color are different. This one is kind of like a deep... Um, red or maroon and then it's not that plasticky compared to the luxurian one the luxurian i'll show you later on it is green and it it's coated with kind of a plastic um, um stem on it which the petiole i should say so it's still giving me beautiful leaf <laughs> After all, it's th this plant you guys have had it for quite some time. If you guys wanted to watch the first videos that I made way back 2019, then you'll probably see this one. I got this one from Indonesia. And yeah, that is the leaf. Okay, so let's move on into my um, wine plant that I got from Equiflora. I got it from Equiflora and it is and it was a seedling. However, I don't know what happened with these because of the stress again, but Give me this one and I have another That is on the way to huge leaf. Hopefully Yep, that's the leaf. I'm keeping this one in love rock and the vermiculite so far, this is my Anthurium Pallidiflorum that I got from Equiflora. You guys, all of these plants over here are so heavy because of the rocks. So, anyway, this one here is a hybrid, which I don't know exactly what it is. I forgot. It's, it's quite hard to tell yet because it's still a seedling, but it's giving me... This beautiful tiny leaf and at the back it's it's so pink very the veining is is pink and I have one here as well but you guys can tell it's really st it's stress because of what I did from last year on keeping it into different substrates I think I had this one in lava rock and pumice as well but I don't know what happened but I just repotted them and decided to place them here now. I don't know. I might have... I turned down my grow tent in the basement already. I just... I don't want too, too much moisture. And I don't want to get some alga or algae in some of my plants. So they're happy here anyway. At least, you know, I can always open this window when summertime comes and they will get air in here here and there so yeah this is my hybrid Ethereum, and like i said i don't know what um this plant is so hopefully you guys can recognize what it is it looks like a drusillary to me as well but i have the drusillary one and they quite similar but I don't know it's hard to tell yet so we will see oh so we are going to move on to the big ones I have here my Ethereum crystallinum that I got from Aqua Genera as well it came with two leaves in a small leaves but then I had it um, um, grown in cocoa core they love cocoa core and perlite because that's where they came in right they were um, grown into that uh, media and then I copied it at the same time I put some bark on it which they really like but I don't know what happened it gave me flowers and I believe those flowers that 
are blooming, especially to, into my Anthurium Green Mamba. You know, it's taking the energy, so the leaves are turning yellow. It's getting stressed, so I decided to remove it. So this one here is my my Crystallinum. I have had this for quite some time now as well. If I did not remove all of the leaves, I'll probably have about at least eight pieces of leaves. This is the new leaf and it's pretty huge. It's so beautiful guys. Can you see how velvety the leaf is? And I'm keeping this one in my lover rock in pumice. I guess, I guess most of my peers love hydroponics. I would love to try the ponds, but ponds are always out of stock, like lechuza ponds. And um, I couldn't find anywhere, so I had to make my own. So yeah, this is my Anthurium crystallinum. And it's still growing in my care for quite some time now. I got this one in 2019, so we are now in 2022 and it's still alive. But it's not that thriving as it's supposed to be. Moving on into my green mamba. My green mamba, you guys. This one I got in a small plant. And it never gave me any problems. Just when I repotted it into a different substrate again or media. That's, it gave me uh, stress. Because it, well, it gets really co cool in, in this room for winter time. But I place it in my lava and pumice and you guys gave me this beautiful large leaf. Well, you know, after the small leaves, I cut the the first leaf that it came in. And then these tiny leaves that you guys are seeing, those are the old ones. Yeah, and then this one came in. And then this one came in and it gave me flower. However, it's like I said, it's taking the energy. It's giving me this kind of discoloration on the side of the leaf. So I decided to remove it and you know, it ended up not surviving anyway. It didn't survive, <laughs> but this one is so beautiful. In case you see, I don't know. Yeah, that is my plan. Right there, it's pretty huge. Of course, it's bigger than my face. And I really love it, you guys. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do because if this one give me another flower, I hope I have some of the anthuriums that, you know, growing flowers or inflorescence as well so I can pollinate them. I still have quite a bunch in here that I wanted to show you, but it's too much for the video. But for the highlight, I'm just going to show you my Imperium Luxurian that I almost killed because of the winter time. I mean, I'm not really because of the temperature here and the substrate that I've used, which you know, it's love rock and pumice as well. but. It's very important to give nutrients to your plants if you are using hydroponics because lavrak and pumice don't have a good source of nutrients. So I had to do some fertilizing here and there and it gave me um, good result. It should the small pieces of leaves, different shapes of leaves rather. And then I had and then I have this one big leaf. And you guys, it's giving me a flower. Yeah. All right. You guys can see it. You guys, the camera went off, so. Okay, so like I said, this is my Anthurium Lux. And you guys can tell. Ah, it's still dripping because I just watered them. Those are the small babies. And I have a new... I think this is in in fluorescence, you guys. This one over here, you can see that. And then I have this new leaf that it's sprouting. But after this big leaf here, this is the the big leaf now. Oh my god, you guys, it's so beautiful. Yeah, 
and that's what I'm telling at the back of the leaf. It will get matured. The leaf is, uh, the petiole is uh, plasticky, if you can see that, compared to the um, Radicans one, and it's green. So, yeah guys, that's my luxurian. So this is for a better look. I'm gonna move it closer. It's the leaf. It's so dark and beautiful. It's big now. So I'm keeping this one in the same substrate, not in pond. However, I don't know if I have to call it in pond because that's where the pond made up. Love rock and pumice and some sort of, you know, different ingredients or substrate that they put. That's pretty much all the end theorems that I wanted to show. I have a few more, however, it's just, it's, it would take some time for me to do the reviews. I will probably do it the next um, videos. But for now, thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's been a while and I'm not really consistent in making videos. But thank you for following still and thank you for all of your support. I am very happy that I've met a lot of you on YouTube and then added me on my Instagram. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Click the subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss any notification from me, just click the notification button. Just the bell, I think. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys. I hope you like this video. And please give it a thumbs up if you do. And follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is here, Abel's Blood. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye!